Michael Forward for Peace FM and Chat TV. And once again, we have Naomi from the Chatwin Chamber of Commerce joining us to tell us all about what's going on with the Chamber. Hello, Naomi. Good morning. And uh, so it's been a month since we talked last. What has the Chamber been up to and what's going on in the future? Oh, my gosh. So uh, we are incredibly busy. We have an amazing fall coming up. So we have Business Excellence and Community Civic Awards uh, coming up in November. But we need nominations. Um, nominations uh, can be, you just got to go to our website. You can either download the nomination form there. You can contact me. I can email it to you. You can uh, use the QR code. Uh, there's uh, posters and things around town. Just hit it with your phone and you can fill out the nomination right there online. <coughs> uh, it's set for November 15th at the Royal Canadian Legion. And we're planning on hosting a full evening of awards, dinner and dancing. Um, but like I said, we need the nominations in order to do that. I have about three. Deadline nomination is October 1st. Uh, our categories this year are Business of the Year, Customer Service Individual of the Year, Not-for-Profit of the Year, Employer of the Year, and this year we have the 2024 Charlie Lasser Spiritus Award. Um, there is also the Citizen of the Year, Junior Citizen of the Year, and Volunteer of the Year. And uh, this isn't usually included in the Business Excellence Awards. I've partnered up with the uh, District of Chetwin. Those uh, awards haven't been handed out for quite a few years, so we're going to bring them back. So if you know anybody that's done amazing things in the community, uh, any businesses that have done amazing things in the community, get your nominations in. The only thing we ask is that you make sure that your nominations include examples of why you believe the person or business should win because our judges are from all across Canada. So I say they need to read it and believe it. So uh, yeah. And this year's theme is outdoor adventure, which means you don't even have to dress up. Very simple. Uh, wear your jeans, t-shirts. It's good. Um, we would also like to welcome, we got a new member this uh, this last month, Daisies and Daffodils Coffee and Cookies. And uh, they are owned by Wendy Siller, who's a longtime Chetwin res resident. And she can be seen around town, her, her absolutely adorable little yellow and white camper. It's usually parked at IGA. Due to the construction right now, she's been over at uh, another one of our chamber members, Orchids and Moonlight. Uh, she has delicious coffee and like the best, the best homemade lemonade. So definitely pop by there and, and check it out. And of course, we have Harvest Fest coming up very quickly. Uh, this year's shaping up to be one of the biggest years yet. Uh, we are again located at Carver's Row for the second year uh, in a row due to the construction happening downtown with the water mains for the District of Chetwin. We have approximately 50 vendors this year, so it's going to be busy. Uh, we have the Kids, Stone, Kids Zone, we have stage, we have live music this year, as well as our DJ that's going to be there all day. Uh, we have uh, watermelon eating contests, uh, kids games, face painting. There's a classic car show that's being hosted by Lakeview Credit Union. Uh, the list is extensive. And the event is completely free to attend and is sponsored by um, many of our community businesses and organizations. And this year, uh, our main sponsor is CN Rail. So it's being presented by CN Rail. Uh, following Harvest Fest is our September Mind Your Business Luncheon on September 26th. Uh, this, this month's keynote speaker will be the Chetwin Rotary Club, who will be updating us on uh, some of the projects that they're working on around Chetwin, including the new track that's going to be happening at Rotary Park. Lunch is free for our members, as you guys know. Pop by. Um, if you're not a member, it's $20, and we just ask that we you RSVP so we make sure we have enough food for everybody. This month's luncheon is going to be um, catered by the Raspatoon Patch. Minnie Quinlan, she's done a couple of our luncheons. They're delicious. Also coming up is the Chetwin Chamber of Commerce Annual General Meeting. It's going to be taking place November 5th. We are looking for directors this year for the board. If you're interested, you can contact the chamber for uh, your nomination and information package. The chamber board is a governance board, which means that you get to help shape policy and the direction of the Chetwin Chamber of Commerce locally, privilegedly, and federally. And we're fun. We're fun. And you can tell we do a lot of things. So. For sure. Um, the deadline for the Chetwin Chamber of Commerce Business Directory and Community Guide has been extended to September 30th. If uh, anyone would like to advertise in this printed 55 plus page full color booklet and soon to be mobile app, which I'm super excited about. I got some funding to turn it into an app. Uh, you can just contact us. Chamber members receive a discount on their pricing. And this just came in uh, yesterday from the BC Chamber of Commerce. Uh, if somebody is a member of the Chetwin Chamber of Commerce, you're also a member of the BC Chamber of Commerce and the Canadian Chamber of Commerce. Uh, so this event is coming up on September 26th. It's the 
Embracing Truth, Honoring the National Day of Reconciliation from 8 a.m. to 9 from 8 a.m. to 9:30 a.m. hosted by the BC Chamber of Commerce. The event focuses on acknowledging the history and legacy of residential schools, honoring survivors, fostering reconciliation between Indigenous and non-Indigenous communities. Uh, it's featuring speakers from Doig River First Nation and from BCIT, and it offers a chance to reflect, learn, and take steps towards a more inclusive future. Participation is free with an option to donate to the Indian Residential School Survivor Society. If you'd like to participate, I just get a hold of the Chetwin Chamber of Commerce and we'll send you the link or keep an eye on our social media pages and there'll be a link and some information there to join up. And uh, just once again, if somebody's not familiar with the Chamber, how do they go about visiting you or contacting you? So we are located in beautiful downtown Chetwin in what longtime residents know as the old doctor's office. Um, I'm not sure it has changed names now. We have a new owner. Uh, I call it the Fair Realty Building because that's the biggest sign on the building. Uh, right down across the street from Fields Department Store, also a chamber member. Um, and if anybody would like to join, they can simply just pop in and come talk to me. Or you can head to our website and download our application form. Um, we are in the process as well, I should mention, of going through a complete rebranding with new logos and a new website and everything that's going to be coming up in the new year, and we're incredibly excited. So it'll be a whole fresh new look for us. And is there a social media presence that people can follow? You betcha. We are on Facebook, we're on Instagram, and LinkedIn, and X. Excellent. Well, thank you very uh, kindly for coming in and speaking with us once again. And uh, we'll speak to you again next month to find Absolutely. out what's going on. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. Thank you.